Good day Philippines, this is Mike Padua and we're back to our latest analysis for this Thursday to Saturday, August 46, 2022. And this is our English version for you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update. Here's the latest graph set which we issued last night. And this is valid until uh, today. Later f uh, this evening, we are going to issue another graph set. And we have here a uh, rapid intensifying uh, LPA 96W which as of this time is now Tropical Depression 8W. It developed into a Tropical Depression prior in making landfall in the vicinity of Hong Kong. So expect some uh, heavy rainfall, thunderstorms with some uh, winds of up to 50 kph. And it's uh, inducing the southwest monsoon across the West Philippine Sea and the northern portions of the South China Sea, affecting the coastal areas of Ilocos provinces including Batanes and Mabuyan Island Group. Now to the east of the Philippine Islands, we have a uh, active uh, surface trough moving into the Philippine Sea, and this system is likely to become another low, lo another low pressure area as it approaches the coastal areas of northern Vicol region. So we expect uh, rainfall activity to occur within the next uh, three days, particularly this Saturday, where heavy rainfall will be expected in most parts of the Bicol region and Saturday evening to Sunday it will bring more rainfall over central and the southern Luzon including Metro Manila because this uh, LPA is expected to traverse the island of Luzon and uh, early next week it is likely to become a tropical depression or a tropical storm west of uh, Luzon or over the uh, West Philippine Sea. So that's the scenario of the weather this coming weekend. So uh, Fox over Bicol region and uh, uh, portions and uh, most parts of Luzon will experience uh, thunderstorms and more rainfall. So please take all necessary precautions against uh, flooding and uh, landslides in hazard prone areas of Luzon. Uh, we have a strong easterlies here over the uh, Marianas and Micronesia and uh, another surface trough here over Pompeii in eastern Micronesia and the intertropical convergence zone over the Marshall Islands. Now, the uh, strong easterlies is mainly due to the existing uh, La Nina phenomenon. That's why the uh, southwest monsoon is quite weak and just concentrating over the uh, West Philippine Sea and South China Sea, including the Indochina area. So uh, the rainfall over the Philippine Islands are more contributed with these uh, severe thunderstorms generated by these troughs and uh, passing low pressure areas. Most of them becomes a tropical cyclone when it reaches the West Philippine Sea. That's usually the nature of the La Nina climate. And let's take a look at the uh, tracking of the uh, Joint Typhoon Warning Center. So it developed into a tropical depression very close to the coastline of eastern Guangdong, very near Hong Kong. So expect inclement weather over this area. And it will uh, eventually weaken into low pressure area as it moves overland into southern China. And here's the uh, fast animation from University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. Here's the tropical uh, depression making landfall near Hong Kong. And here's a uh, new surface trough moving in the vicinity of eastern Visayas and Bicol region. So this is worth watching because as the computer models say, it is likely to become a low pressure area and it's quite a slow moving system. Uh, to the north of the Bicol region sometime Friday to Saturday. So st stay tuned for more updates. And here's the uh, zoom in satellite animation from windy.com. As you can see here, these are large uh, elongated cluster of thunderstorms moving towards the eastern coastline of Luzon, including eastern Visayas. So we expect rainfall beginning tomorrow becoming more intense by Saturday because this uh, elongated area of surface trough is expected to become a uh, low pressure system okay so it's uh, quite a large uh, cloudiness so stay tuned and here's the uh, uh, rainfall forecast for the next three to four days until monday since we are going to monitor this rain event and uh, this afternoon we expect uh, rainfall to occur in various sections of the country because of the localized thunderstorms and on friday afternoon more rainfall will be expected especially over luzon including the Bicol region because of the potential formation of a weak low pressure or shallow lpa here and on saturday 
the LPA is start, will start to uh, traverse Luzon. More thunderstorms will be expected across Luzon, Metro Manila, and Bicol region. And uh, localized thunderstorms in various sections of the country. Sunday afternoon, the uh, potential uh, LPA is expected to traverse Luzon and exiting over the uh, west coast of uh, central Luzon. So expect more rainfall over this part of Luzon, while the Bicol region will uh, will be expecting some improvement of the weather comes late Sunday, Sunday afternoon. And on Monday, most likely, uh, the LPA is likely to consolidate or reform over west of Luzon or in the vicinity of the West Philippine Sea. But due to the southwest monsoon, it will continue to affect the western sections of central Luzon, including Pangasinan, Sambales, Torlac, uh, Bataan. So uh, those are the uh, forecast that we are showing to you for the next uh, four days until Monday. While the Bicol region, other parts of uh, Visayas and Mindanao will have rains and thunderstorms due to the southwest uh, monsoon or southwesterly wind flow come Monday afternoon. Now here's the uh, forecast, two-day weather forecast, courtesy of Meteorologics, our good friends from Switzerland. They were our partner during the time of weather Philippines. So the forecast for Naga City for the next two days is showing that the rainfall uh, event will happen uh, Friday evening until uh, Sunday uh, uh, morning. So this is the bulk of the rainfall. Now the rainfall is on and off and sometimes heavy, sometimes light or moderate. So expect to bring your umbrellas and please take all those uh, precautions in low-lying areas because of the threat of flooding as well as over the mountain slopes and volcanic slopes for possible lahars and landslides. Now let's change this to uh, Quezon City. Okay, let me see. We'll use this Quezon City. There you go. Uh, those folks living in Quezon City, uh, here's the uh, rain uh, forecast. So the rain event over Quezon City and various sections of Metro Manila is likely to begin um, Saturday evening and it will be more intense during the early mornings of Sunday. And throughout Sunday, there will be rain and it will diminish come uh, in the afternoon of uh, Sunday. Okay. Also, in various uh, sections of Metro Manila, just type in your uh, city here, and the Meteorologics will search it for you. Okay. So there you go. That's the forecast for the rain, rainfall accumulation, as expected, because of that uh, uh, approaching trough, which could become an LPA in the next few days. Expect uh, heavy to extreme rainfall across central and southern Luzon, including Metro Manila, Bicol Region. Masbate, also Visayas, Palawan, rest of Mimaropa, uh, Mindoro, and the central sections of Luzon. So expect that because of the approach of the LPA, the potential LPA. Okay, it's, it's still a trough, but it may become an LPA as it passes to the north of Bicol region. And for the uh, Global Tropics Hazards and Benefits Outlook of the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, this is valid for the next two weeks, issued uh, yesterday. So for week one, valid August 3 to August 9, the Philippine Islands will experience above average rainfall because of the ongoing La Nina and the passage of this uh, low pressure area. And uh, over to the West Philippine Sea, we expect a uh, medium possibility or a uh, moderate possibility of a tropical cyclone formation uh, west of the Philippine Islands. So that's already the new one uh, that is expected to uh, form into a tropical depression come Monday or Tuesday next week, uh, August uh, 8 or 9. And for week 2, valid August 10 to 16, again to the west of uh, Luzon or near the coast of uh, northern Vietnam and Hainan Island in southern China, we expect another 50% chance of a tropical cyclone formation. But only the island of Luzon will be expe experiencing above average rainfall but at moderate levels or moderate probability. So, Likely, it will return to normal across various sections of the country, except for Davao region and Soxagen, where above average rainfall will still be expected. 
because of the ongoing La Nina, which produces more thunderstorm clouds over this area. Over Marianas, dry weather, below average rainfall because of the break in this uh, uh, thunderstorm activity. So there you go. That's the latest for this uh, Thursday. And we will return on Saturday to give you more updates on the weather. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag WeatherWiser. Thank you so much for watching our channel.